Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and welcome to Learning Game Development. This time we're going to take a look at assets. Don't forget, click subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every video in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So I've briefly touched upon it before when it comes to assets. And anything we create a game with is known as an asset. And as I say, it can be from a font file to a texture to a model to an audio file. It could be anything that we'd use to build a game. Theoretically, even these objects that we have in our scene, whether it's a light source or a cube or anything, they are theoretically also assets. But what if you want something not quite as primitive, something a little better? Uh, let's say you want maybe a town or something or a big open world that you want to import and learn things from. Well, there are places that you can get those assets from. The most common place for you to get an asset from, especially within the Unity environment, is known as the Asset Store. And basically the Asset Store is a way of people uploading assets that they have created and allowing you to download them and put them in your game, whether it is commercial or personal. You theoretically own the license at that point, so you don't need to worry too much about the the law of all of this. You don't need to worry at all from the asset store. It's all built in to help you as a developer learn and build your game. So the asset store itself um, is a fantastic resource for you to find different things. And let's say you want to go for a pencil. You can go there and you can search and obviously there are paid assets that you can bring in but there is a lot to choose from and that's one thing that you really need to look for. So if we click on free assets for example we can bring in some of these like office supplies if we wanted to and with the asset store it's all tied to your Unity account so once you've purchased that asset it doesn't matter whether the price goes up or not you still own that, that, that asset. So if you purchase something for say five bucks, then even if it goes up to 20, you still own that and don't have to pay the extra. So what you would need to do if you fancy one of these assets is log in on assetstore.unity.com, find the asset that you want, and then you would just click on add to my assets and go through with it. And obviously if it's a purchased asset, you would just need to purchase it from there Unity is a little bit odd with the way it wants to import assets. It used to be fairly easy. Um, do you remember that asset store tab that we had um, not too long ago, to be honest? Uh, and we closed it because it says it's not in Unity anymore. Well, in version, let's say 2018, the asset store is still there and you could download the asset and import it straight from there. For some reason, Unity has decided that now you purchase it from the website. And from there, if you go to window, and you'll see down here you have something called package manager and the package manager is where all your assets can be stored or your packages are stored and you can bring them into your game so what you would need to do is when you have the package manager open you need to select from here and go to my assets now i'm not signed in right now uh, because i've just not signed in uh, but when you are signed in you will have your list of assets here and you can import them here and it will bring it straight into unity it'll probably create a folder well essentially all that means is that when you have imported your asset you'll be able to get everything here into your game and if you look around you'll see all different things you know it recommends things that you might like and it's also probably wise to have a quick look at the images to see what you're getting. And the package content itself is actually quite a handy little tool. You can see what's actually in this particular asset pack right there. So you can see how all of this will be imported into your game. It's a little bit low quality, but I wouldn't worry about that too much. It looks a little bit better than that when you bring it into the game. But this is how it will be imported. So you'll end up with a folder, in this case called Office Supplies Low Poly, in your asset window here and you'll be able to select these assets the textures whatever you want and place them wherever you need to in your game so another place that i like to go to when i need specifically characters or models of um, moving people or animals or anything like that or monsters is mixamo and it's just mixamo.com um, it's an Adobe website and you can create an account for free and what this would let you do is it will let you select various different uh, characters 
or creatures or whatever you want and apply animations to them as we can see here and then you can download that and bring it into your game and as I said with many other things before I've got more extensive stuff on uh, my channel for all of this this video is more of a cover of where you can get assets from I mean there are other places that you can get assets from um, a couple of other more reputable websites uh, and you can also make your own assets in something like Blender or Maya or 3D Studio Max if you know those if not there are channels on YouTube that have really really good in-depth uh, tutorials on how to build things in 3D modeling software I don't specifically do that my uh, expertise is more in unity rather than 3d modeling so I tend to try and go to one of these places to find the assets I need and the asset store you can find quite literally almost anything on there anything you need you would be able to find on the asset store so I would recommend going there first and foremost before anywhere else and if you're prepared to pay some of these prices that's perfectly fine if not look for the free ones because there are some very high quality free assets on the unity asset store in fact i do have a playlist of hundreds of assets i've reviewed uh, which ones are good which ones are not so good and which ones should be useful for things well again that is a nice playlist on my channel so essentially what it comes down to is when you've got your assets in your game you'll be able to just drag and drop them into the scene and you'd have everything rendering itself and the great thing as well is you can create your own assets within Unity in like its own container file known as an, an FBX. And what that essentially does is it creates an asset of what you've got in your scene. So, for example, I'm going to place this cube inside the other cube and I'm going to drag and drop that asset into there. That means that asset of cube now contains both of those and we can move them both at the same time. It does also mean that if we drag and drop this cube down here in the asset window, it becomes its own asset. It's a prefab now. Rather, I said FBX before, didn't I? I? I meant prefab. Obviously, I meant prefab. And you can then drag and drop that into your scene. So you've theoretically created your own little asset there. So what I would recommend, like I say, is exploring the asset store as much as possible because there are so many cool things that you can use as assets in your game. Whether you are making a shooting game, a puzzle game, a driving game, anything like that, you'll find the right assets for your game in there. So definitely worth a look. And as for Mixamo, everything on there is free. Uh, there are some fantastic models on there you can use as characters, as enemies, all kinds of things. So yeah, that's mixamo.com. And for the Unity Asset Store, it's assetstore.unity.com. Go and explore them and then come back and then we'll carry on and we're going to look at some physics. Physics are fun in Unity, so we're going to explore it. Until then, thank you very much for watching.